Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, King, King of endless, endless glory. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and scribes, and be killed on the third day, be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world? yet lose or forfeit himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, I find in a special way that uh, this particular scripture, you know, applies to me today. Uh, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, <laughs> take up his cross daily, and follow me. And uh, I think for each of us, there are cross moments that happen. And uh, the question for us is, do we run the other way or do we accept the cross? That's actually part of what is there. The other is the question for us during this Lenten season that whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. So are we willing to really empty ourselves out and let the Lord enter us and really fill us. Um, and what profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? So what profit it is for us to be right over loving one another? So as we receive the body and blood of Christ, Let's pray for that grace, that grace to know Jesus risen from the dead and to empty ourselves as he enters us.